mean, they're, they're just past dilapidated. They're past non-livable. They, are ju- they, sh- they should be condemned. Melissa Godoy is talking about these barracks built in the 1970s on Smoke Bomb Hill at Fort Bragg. Godoy is an advocate for good military housing for our soldiers. She's been in touch with the troops on Smoke Bomb Hill. Mold just covering every surface in their room. They're coming back to their belongings full of mold. Um, They're living with asbestos, severe water leaks, flooding, poor ventilation, no AC. This isn't the first time issues have been reported about living conditions inside barracks on post. In 2008, soldiers posted these pictures from the barracks in the 82nd Airborne Division. The outrage sparked change. A year later, they were torn down and eventually replaced. Military leaders at Fort Bragg have acknowledged the problem. They say about 1,200 soldiers living in a dozen Smoke Bomb Hill barracks are systematically being relocated. You don't have 50-year-old buildings without issues. Uh, Certainly the better way to take care of soldiers is to go ahead and make the decision we're making now, which is to take soldiers out of those barracks and then move to demolish uh, the majority of those those barracks and refurbish where we need to. But all of this is going to take time. Meanwhile, we're told soldiers are living in some very difficult situations. So right now, we're still working to create the spaces. As soon as we've identified the space that can be created for soldiers to move, then we'll go ahead and we'll go to the next phase, which is internal moves within organizations so that they can keep their troopers together.